Well, that's my feeble attempt at a long drive swing. Hey, I recently attended the World Long Drive Championships in Mesquite, Nevada, and I learned so much. Uh, I learned that those guys are mostly beasts, but of course that doesn't help you. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about five things that I brought home from the World Long Drive Championships that I think are gonna help you drive the ball longer and straighter. So stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve from HitItLonger.com. I continue on my journey to hit the ball longer and straighter, not just off the tee, but also into the flag because hitting the ball like that for 18 holes just makes the game so much fun. So if you'd like to join me on my journey, please hit the subscribe button right down there below to get notification of all my future videos. Please hit the like button and leave a comment down below. So of course, Bryson DeChambeau was the huge, huge draw and crowd favorite this year as he showed up and boy, stunned a lot of people by making it into the final eight. And certainly one thing I learned, and you can tell from this photo that I've put up in the corner of the screen that, hey, I don't think Bryson had any kind of pharmaceutical help in building up his body. So you look at this photo and proportionate to me, I'm, I'm around 212 pounds at the moment and he's clearly slightly smaller human being than I am. Yeah, probably a little less fat and a little bit more muscle than I am at the moment, but you can see compared to some of the beasts out there hitting people that are 6'7", 6 6'8", 6 6 just mass, massive power lifting bodies, Bryson was a relative midget in this crowd. So again, whatever rumors are going around that he had some kind of assistance pharmaceutically to help him build 30 pounds of muscle, whatever the rumor is. This photo, I'm not buying that. Now, a second thing I learned at the World Long Drive Championships in Mesquite was that those guys tee the ball up much higher than you do. I'm gonna show you. We have here approximately a two and a half to two and three quarter inch rubber tee. And here I've got my four inch, <laughs> four inch tornado tee held down by the tee claw. And this is how high most of the long drivers were hitting it. They're teeing it up, a lot of them on the four inch version of the tornado tee, significantly higher than what you normally tee it up. Now, just in case you're not buying that teeing it higher goes farther just yet, let me give you some more evidence as my golf spy recently did a study on tee height, low versus high, and they found that teeing it higher actually helps you hit the ball farther. And there, this study, the high tee, had the drivers hit the ball 14 yards farther, increased their angle of attack, but not only that, it helped them hit more fairways. So again, the theme of the channel is how to drive it longer and straighter, teeing it higher, going to be a really big key for you. Now, do you have to tee it all the way up to this four inches? You know, probably not to get all the benefits that you need, but certainly we'd like to get probably the entire ball teed up above the top of the club or the crown to get really good results. All right, and let me get this four inch tee a whirl just for fun. Now, judging by the TrackMan data on that, just that one hit, hitting off this higher tee, assisted my angle of attack, got it higher than usual. I was able to catch it a little higher on the face, increasing the ball speed. Certainly my spin came down a little bit. Very interesting. You really ought to try teeing it up higher. All right, a third thing I learned from the longest hitters in the entire world is that they swing longer than you do. Now. Didn't really matter the age. Yeah, most of them are young, but even the, in the senior division, their swings are just simply longer than yours. So if you're really gonna maximize your club head speed and distance, it'd be a great project for you to start getting your swing to be longer and wider in the coming season. One of my favorite tools for this is the Orange Whip Trainer. The way I use this, and this is an everyday warm-up exercise for me, I just try to swing this thing in rhythm 
but as long as I possibly can. So something like this. And that really helps me stay limber and gives me some, quote, muscle memory on getting it to a longer spot, kind of building coordination so that when I start putting a ball on the tee, I can kind of start tapping into that kinesthetic sense or awareness of where I was on these swings. Now, in addition to the Orange Whip Trainer, I also really like my Power Coil Pro train me not only, that, again, that kinesthetic sense of taking the club at least to parallel, if not past, but also keeping me limber, really using this to stretch out my body so it will sustain a longer swing. Watch where I can get to with the assistance of the Power Coil Pro. It's a really terrific stretch. Both the Orange Whip Trainer and the Power Coil Pro are available in my pro shop. Check it out, hititlonger.com. All right, so now that I've drilled making my swing longer and wider with those two items, let me take a crack at it, see if I can wind up like a young guy. All right, so the fourth thing I learned from the longest hitters on the planet are that conditions, wind conditions, temperature conditions, humidity conditions, will affect the length of your drives by much more than you think. Let me give you an example. One day that was blowing a little bit downwind and Kyle Berkshire was able to win a set at 455 yards, incredible. But the very next morning it was cool and the wind was blowing in at 20 to 30 miles per hour. And these grand beasts were only winning with about 315 yards best drive out of four guys. That's 140 yards of difference between warmer and a little downwind and cooler and a little into the wind. Now, not only will wind and temperature affect your drives, but also the condition of the turf can greatly affect how far your shots are going. So if you live somewhere where it's more spongy and kind of furry in the fairways, well, you're gonna to have to play for a little more carry. Well, if it's kind of firm and dry, well, then you're gonna hit it a lot farther. All right, and the last thing I learned at the World Long Drive Championships is a basic tenet of Mike Austin's teaching. Uh, my mentor, Mike Austin, in the Guinness Book for a 515-yard drive in the 1974 U.S. Senior Open. Now, Mike used to harp on us all the time that getting it out there, he said, knocking it out there, has little to do with size and strength. I would also throw age in there, too, as, of course, Mike was 60 years old when he hit his 515-yard drive and was still knocking it over 300 yards easy into his late 70s. Now, I saw examples of his wisdom in action in the senior division and in the ladies' division. So first in the senior division, which is actually 45 and older, legendary long driver David Mobley, narrowly lost in the finals by about two feet at 57 years old, just super fantastic, 377 yards to 376 and change He's still hitting it out there over 370 despite being in his late 50s. So that certainly gives me hope that I still have my best distance days in front of me and just shows you also that just because you're a little bit older doesn't mean that you can't do something about hitting the ball longer. Now, of course, it's hard to believe when you're around these hulking, muscular guys that hit the ball over 400 yards all the time that physical strength doesn't make that much of a difference. And let's take a look at the ladies finals for that, particularly not the winner of the second place, but watch the video I'm showing up here in the corner. This is third place finisher Yana Sanai from Japan. What a beautiful swing. Not only did she never miss the grid, she hit every ball right down the center line, 
but she also had a high drive of 315 yards. In the final four, she put all six balls in the center of the fairway all over 300 yards. What a performance. Now, I don't just bring a matter of strength up because she's a female, but also <laughs> she stands at it just over five feet tall. So she's like five foot one female, probably out driving you by what, 50 yards at least, right? So my point is don't lose hope just because you're not the most fit uh, physical specimen in the world. Maybe you're not super tall. Maybe you're not super young anymore. You still have so much potential to pick up distance. All right, so I sincerely hope that what I brought home from the World Long Drive Championships will also help you hit the ball a little bit longer and straighter. Hey, I'm Steve, hititlonger.com. Head over to my site for over 100 additional videos and articles that I think are gonna help you improve your game this year. I'm gonna go back to making some long swings on my four inch tee, cause it's fun. But if I don't see you in the next video, I hope I see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.